All right, welcome back to uh, another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com, and it is Sunday, uh, Sunday, May 24th, and uh, big day here in Indiana as we had our Indianapolis 500, and um, I'm here in a uh, lake here in southern Indiana, and um, had a good day bass fishing, ended up with two big large mouths at 22 inches both of them had spawned out caught one early in the day going down deep with a type 3 sink tip line and then just here a few minutes ago caught one up on the surface um, with a type 1 sink tip and both took different colors uh, silver shad type um, streamers and so it was a very productive day and um, Hope you've got some place like this back home that you can get out on, and uh, it's just an absolutely beautiful night. I've got doves coming in, and ducks, and geese, and uh, whole kind, all all kinds of wildlife here with me tonight. So, uh, hope you enjoy the video. It's just a short one here, uh, some release stuff and some photos, but uh, I hope that's a good one for you. Get out there and get going. All right, folks. Just a couple of notes on this video. Uh, this is the first big bass that I caught on this particular day, and I do have him lipped with the stringer. I do that only so that I can get to my cameras. And it's hard to manage all of those things, and so then uh, you'll see a little release of this fish in a little bit. Uh, but I like to fish these deeper lakes by th casting perpendicular to the weed bed and allowing that fly, which will look like a shad that's dying, moving down in front of the weeds and uh, and then the fish will come out of those weed beds. A lot of fish, a lot of people like to fish these parallel to. I like to fish them perpendicular because it, it just looks natural for that fly to kind of maneuver straight down, um, give it very little movement, and uh, you'll be surprised how the big fish will come out and look for a big meal. Um, and the second fish here, again, you'll, you'll be able to see as uh, it's later uh, in the day. So the sun has started to go down, the fish will move up to the surface. And, and that's when I go to a little smaller fly and um, was able to catch this second larger fish, again with the same pattern, casting perpendicularly into the vegetation and retrieving that fly um, out away from the shore. And um, after that, just hold on and, and be ready. It's a very productive pattern. So get out there and give it a try. <laughs> 